All right, so here it is, the Galaxy S7 Active in the AT&T retail box. Not a whole lot to be said here. Uh, I've never been a big fan of AT&T's retail packaging, but it works. Open it up, and we hope you love your new Samsung Galaxy S7 Active. To get familiar with all its features, power up your new Galaxy S7 Active. And by the way, Active is lowercase. Don't you dare uppercase that. And look for device help icon. Check out device help in your browser bookmarks or visit, and I, no, I'm not doing any of that. Let's get to the phone itself. So here it is. Essentially, this is a Galaxy S7. Uh, AT&T's comes with its it can wait sticker on the front. This is important. I know we all just rip the stickers off, but please, please, please don't play with your phone in your car. I, I beg you. Uh, here is my Verizon Galaxy S7. And you see the screen size is exactly the same. So the big difference here in the Active is that it's rugged. It is built, here's the back so you can see it too. Uh, it is built to be dropped. It is built to get wet, to be in the sand, and just basically you can make a mess of it. Uh, it is a little different. You see the SIM card tray on the proper GS7 is not on the top here on the Active. So a uh, quick tour around the thing. Uh, you've got your Samsung buttons down here on the bottom, multitasking, back, and home. Now the big difference this time is that home is a fingerprint sensor. Tell you what, let's power it up while we're talking. This is a fingerprint sensor this time around and we've missed that on the past couple actives. Uh, the power button is on the right where you would expect it, but this is where they've moved the SIM card tray in micro SD. So it's down there on the, uh, the side. On the left hand side you have your volume rocker up down, a couple little uh, buttons, a couple little knobs so you know where you are. Uh, this is called the active key up here. So you can tap it once and it'll bring up a little active display, tap it twice, and it will bring up your emergency uh, contact stuff so you can send out a SOS test me text message or call 911. Up top, we have uh, your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a microphone. On the bottom, we've got micro USB, still not USB-C, and a speaker. Around the back, exact same camera as the GS7, which means it's really good. And you have your uh, heart rate monitor, which I've never once used. Uh, we've got some instructions back here as well for uh, putting the SIM card tray in and out. So be sure to uh, follow that, because you want to make sure you get it seated right so no water gets in there. Super important. And yes, you can see ours is done in the ever-attractive camouflage which where I live will work perfectly. Uh, so here it is fired up and you can see it does have the always on display. Uh, you can turn that on and off if you want. I haven't been using it, but totally up to you. Uh, swipe screen to unlock. So here it is. Uh, it looks like this one's already been turned on once. Not unusual for review units. Uh, ooh, look at that. There is the DirecTV bloatware. This is the AT&T version and they have really been clunking theirs up. Uh, as far as everything else we're looking at, let's see, I have not, ooh, that's an interesting way to do quick settings. That's a little different, I think, at least from what I'm used to. Um, I have not fired this up and looked at it yet, so let's just fly through here and see. So settings, nothing. There's the active key settings we were talking about, so you can customize the key to open your favorite applications. Short press pulls up activity zone, a long press pulls up direct TV, whether or not you have direct TV. That's just great, AT&T, thanks. Uh, double press brings up emergency zone, let's try that. Ooh, there it is, we have to accept things. So you can call 911, you can add contacts to uh, send emergency stuff to. Or a single press will bring up activity zone. Again, weather, barometer, S-health, compass, flashlight, stopwatch, and we can probably customize that. Uh, otherwise, we are looking at a pretty simple you know, Galaxy S7, it's beefier. Uh, this part, is it's not quite rubber on the corners and the edges. It's sort of a soft touch plastic, but again, it's gonna protect your phone. The idea is you're supposed to be able to drop this and get it wet and all that fun stuff without getting in too much trouble. Uh, let's take a quick look in the box as long as we are here. So we've got some quick start info, which I will be sure to read later, of course. Oh, look at all that great at and stuff. I just don't want at all. Uh, further down in the box, more, I'm totally gonna read that later. Micro USB cable. Again, not surprising that this is still using micro USB and not USB-C. That will probably change later this year, I would reckon. Uh, this is a cool little adapter that Samsung gives us. Uh, can be really helpful for transferring stuff from your old phones, which is why they do it. SIM card tool, SIM tray tool. So you can never have too many of those. And Samsung's adaptive fast charging charger for charging things fastly. 
So that is it in the box. That is it for now for the Galaxy S7 Active. We've got a lot more on this coming up. Stay tuned. I'm going to go torture it for a little while. See ya.